Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 94 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play series. Where today I'm currently cooking up uh, some crystals here. In between episodes, I have been mining crystals like crazy, trying to get um, a crystal that we can use for the mod. Uh, mod. The uh, ritual that I want to set up. Um, so in between episodes, I went through and like went crazy. Um, I went and got more constellation papers and unlocked a bunch more of the constellations. So as you can see here, we have pretty much all the constellations available to us, except for like the ones that require the observatory to get. I have not discovered all of them. Like I cannot find a Vetus. Just can't. Um, I think I found all on this page. Yes. Uh, I have not found Neritis, Alcara, I found Fornax, um, and then I don't, I've only found Boots on this page, but Boots is the one that I was looking for in the first place. Um, so what this does with the ritual is herdable animals bathe in this constellation's light will relax and become fecund, as well as magically shed their produce. How frequently this occurs is based on the amount of starlight channeled into the ritual. So what I have been doing is growing crystals in the hope to get a focus of Boots, so I finally got one, and I've been building up perfect crystals, essentially. So this is a Purity 2, Shape 3, Ritual Effect 3, Focus of Boots crystal. You can't get much better than that. I also have a Purity 2, Shape 3, Collection Rate 3. Ideally, I would also put a Focus of Boots onto this, but I could not get another Focus. Um, so we're just going to skip out on that. Now you can see we have all of these. It took forever to get that first Boots. Um... And then, yeah, basically from there, I just, uh, I said, that's about it. That's all we're going for. Plus, I have all of these in the bank. Like, we have a bunch of size. We have stuff that we don't even know about. Fornax, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's where we uh, are leaving off with this. Um, also, I, um, no, that was about it. I think that was it. So, anyway, let's look at our book because I don't want to attune this if, it's going to mess everything up. So let's go to attunement. And I'm pretty sure it does have to be attuned for a ritual. Yes. The magical power of starlight can have a direct effect on the local area. Um, that is a ritual pedestal. Diminished. Feeding the pedestal with additional gallon starlight the same constellation may see a great increase in potency. So we do. It does look like we need to attune this to boots. And then ritual pedestals are not effective as collector crystals. Linking a collector crystal to the pedestal will see increased speed of the ritual as long as the light is from the same constellation as the attuned crystal in the pedestal. Due to how rituals operate, this additional starlight does not directly feed the magical ritual itself, but provides additional magical energy. Um, okay. So... Same constellation as the attuned crystal in the pedestal. Yes, yeah, so it does look like we have to attune both of these to boots. And it figures the it is becoming daytime i always record right at the end of night um what i want to do is i just want to make sure that we do this properly so that i don't uh will flub up this because that would be absolutely horrendous so we have a ritual pedestal and then enhanced collector crystal feeding too much starlight into a ritual certain attunements are more susceptible and enhanced collector crystal yes okay so that's what we want we are getting an enhanced collector crystal and the ritual pedestal and we're going to attune both of those two boots so that they are both collector crystals attuning the crystal to a faint constellation yes okay cool all right so that is exactly what we need to do so what i need to do is sleep through the day again as always I, like I said I always end up recording right as the day starts uh, and then I have to sit around and wait so let's come back when it's nighttime and we can get started attuning both of these crystals to boots um, I'm gonna go ahead and tear this down this ritual because well it's not needed over here let me put my ring on ring 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 where are you there you are um, it's not needed over here. I built this one by accident, but like I said, it was going to come in handy at some point eventually, which is now because we are going to go move this to our new area and be good to go with it. So yeah, anyway, I will come back when it's nighttime and we can start attuning this crystal. 
And finally, Boots is in the sky. Let me tell you, I've slept through probably about um, eight days, eight Minecraft days here to get Boots to be in the sky. Discovered a couple more uh, constellations while we were sitting around waiting. I love Astro Sorcery, but the waiting portion for a specific constellation can be kind of frustrating sometimes, especially if you're recording like I am. Uh, anyway, let's continue on. So we have boots all laid out here. So let's go ahead and get our crystals attuned. And again, though, this is just absolutely gorgeous and it makes up for any frustrations that I have waiting for constellations because that's just fantastic looking. Like, you can't ask for anything better than that. It's beautiful. So let's get this one attuned. And then the other one. Okay, so that was you, and then you. Tuned to boots. Both of these are going to be tuned to boots. And then one of these needs to be a collector crystal. Or do both of them. I think only one of them needs to be a collector crystal, but you got to make sure you do the right one. This is our ritual. I don't want that to be a collector. This is the one that needs to be the collector. Uh, so I also need to check our book. But I think I need Radiant Gems, which I forgot about and should have made er ahead of time. So let's go ahead and get those. You know what? Let's this is a good time to take a moment to pause. We still need four of these, but we're going to go ahead and make this containment chalice first before we get the uh ritual going on. I'm tired of having to fill this with uh starlight. All right? That is all. That is basically all. I am tired of filling it with starlight. Cause it's just tedious and you kind of gotta like watch and see which one disappears if any no nope. give me that back please okay we got lucky so far three for three Let's see if any disappear here we got four for four without a disappearance that is that is what's up all right so what else do we need we need City marble, star metal, regular aquamarines, and we're also going to need some uh, relays. So we're going to... Do I have enough? How many relays do I have? I have two. Do I have any more relays laying around? No. I mean, I could steal these ones because, to be honest, we probably don't need them anymore, but they look cool with the particle effects. So let's just, let's just steal these ones. I need a total of five. And since we already tuned our crystals, we're good. Um, but I just need to like, you know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Um, okay, so we need a bunch of more stuff. We need some sooty marble and some star metal. So there's our star metal. There's our sooty marble. What else do we need? Was that it? Okay, now, okay, cool. I was going to say, make sure you don't use the wrong crystal. But yeah, we are, this is the uh, chalice thing. Um, I also need to get more aquamarine because we're going to need that for this craft. So watch, we're going to kick this off. It's going to light everything up. We're going to get particle effects everywhere. And what's going to happen is it's going to ask us to put aquamarine in. And you can see here, it's asking for an aquamarine there. And now here. And then lastly, it's going to go there. Then it's going to absorb those aquamarines. Let's watch this. Do the thing. Make the chalice. Ta-da! And we got a containment chalice. So if we take this bad boy... And we come over here and we say, hey, containment chalice, I need you to sit like here and then come under here, break this, and then we need to get, um, it's going to be an ugly pipe run. If I run a pipe over there, that's going to be like the ugliest thing in the world. 
Uh, we could do a, yeah, especially since you can't, it doesn't, this doesn't fill up the whole block. Mm, I don't like that. Let's do a, do I have quantum and Tangelo portals? Tangelo? Do I have any on hand? Can I make two of these quickly? We'll have a, a liquid starlight quantum and Tangelo portal. Sure. Just so that I don't have to run cables all the way across, we will do it magically. Quantum, come on, give me those. Oh, by the way, I forgot, didn't I make induction? I did, <laughs> I forgot I made these induction cells of the ultimate tier. We need to get these put into our uh, induction matrix as well at some point. Completely forgot about that. Okay, so let's set this guy up to be right here and clear everything. This is the only unfortunate part about these is that you have to clear everything out. Not that it's really going to matter, like nothing else. There's no heat. There's no anything else going into here. But just to be safe, I want everything like not in here. This is going to be liquid starlight check. You are set. So you should be getting liquid starlight in you. There's no easy way to tell, but it does, you know, it should be getting in there. And then if we put this one here and again, we turn everything off except for this, you're going to be an output auto. And hopefully I don't need a pipe in between to do this. This should just eject straight to it. And then I set it to the liquid starlight. Bam. We are, yes, it's got liquid starlight in it. Cool. And it should be automatically able to fill. I don't think I have to link this. Let me look in the book. Radiance. Um, may not support the use. Magical teleportation and containment of the fluid is a good solution. Yeah. Um, boop, 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 boop. So that means that relocating a channel so that first removing the store fluid would result in the fluid being dispersed. Okay, so don't break it or you lose your liquid. Um, it is able to draw from light well 16 blocks of its line of sight, so it can automatically do that, or you can feed it in like we did, and a redstone signal will tighten the channel's compression field, stopping it from being able to do stuff. Okay. Yeah, look, that's a big bubble of stuff. So now if I put my aquamarines in here, and we activate it, and we lose any, we should be okay. Because it'll automatically refill with the chalice. And we don't have to worry about it anymore. Which is good, because this was this has always been a pain point of this. Now if only we could just completely automate it. We could automate the inserting of the aquamarines as we saw earlier. Uh, like with our modular router, we could put the aquamarine in here and then just trigger it with this. But we just don't have anything to do the right clicking of the wand for us. Let's just get... Most recipes seem to have called for four of these. So let's just get an extra, you know, four. That way we have them on hand for anything that we uh, run up against. And then we should be able to make our collector crystal fairly easily. Uh, without having to, you know, fight with this thing. That was seven, so this is the last one. Okay, cool. Uh, and again, it's daytime, which seems to be always my luck, is that it's always daytime when we go to do anything, but that's okay. All right, so for our crystal, that was under... Attunement, I think? No. Starlight transmutation, yeah. It's under constellations. Nope, not you. And collector crystals, yes. Okay, so stardust in the corners. Got it. So I need my illumination powder. And do I have stardust on me? I do, and I have the resonating gems. So it is stardust in the corners. And then the resonating gems. And then the illumination powder. 
and then it's your crystal, correct? Yes. And then make sure you pick your right cr crystal. You choose your collection crystal, not your ritual crystal. And it says we just need a little bit more starlight. So let's go back home and we should be able to uh, take a nap. It's relatively, or it's fairly deep into day. So taking a nap shouldn't be that big of an issue. And then our starlight should be uh, building up. Good. Do the thing. We're almost there. The sun, or the sun is, the sun is rising. No, the moon is rising. And Boots is in the sky still, which is good. Not yet. Almost there. So close. So close. And now. Nope. Now. There we go. It was just on the, on the cusp of being ready. I should put my crystals here and then it would like line up you know boots celestial collector crystal boots celestial crystal all right so let's go to our old home and we are going to set this thing up over in this area i already got the copy paste so we should have everything we need for this so this is the ritual pedestal which I want to bump up. Okay, so this is the actual ritual. So if we put our ritual crystal, which is you, in here, we'll start seeing, you know, ritualization stuff going on. You can see it's already working. These guys have pink underneath their feet, which means this is working. So if we turn off our rancher, I'm already collecting a bunch of stuff, look. I already got meat. I got all this stuff. Let me get an ender hopper set up. Just to a regular chest for now, but eventually I'll set it up to an ender chest. But just so that we can see how much of this stuff we're actually collecting, which is already a lot. You and you. Start picking all this stuff up. So this is completely un like modified just as is it's picking up everything just with this ritual over here now we're going to set up to have a collector crystal attached to it so let's grab the copy paste for that which is the ooh, where is it enhanced celestial collector crystal and that's you and then we need our template manager paste uh, we're gonna need to go get some more stuff this also is going to require starlight so but we can set this up like here and in the ground though you need to go down one and to the right yes okay do we have all the stuff that we would need for this uh we do not so let's go home go grab all of our marble that we have up here which is you grab all of this stuff but not you and you guys can go away too Sooty marble, and then how many buckets do we have? Six. I'm going to get some more starlight, too. Um, oh, all of our starlight is getting pumped out. This thing holds 64 buckets. I forgot. Uh, can I... Can I steal from you? I need more starlight. Oh, and this also has a buffer of 512 buckets. It's got 47 buckets. 400, yeah, 47 buckets in its buffer. Um, so let's just do this then. I forgot the entangle porters. Nope, that's not correct. Uh, pick that back up, please. And I think it's N to change the bucket mode off. 
place that there and we're going to set the liquids to go eject to the bottom. There we go. Absolutely unintended. Don't forget to switch your stuff back to the proper. Oh, goodness. Oh. Um. Oh, gosh. What did I do here? Okay, let's try and fix this again. Uh, where is my dank? Okay, dank. You're here. Fill all this back in, okay? Like, stop being complicated. You, you. And then we're going to put the Tingle Porter here. And then you're going to get a stair here, right? Right, okay. So you're set back up. You are outputting starlight to the top. Okay, cool. And we're full on liquid starlight on our other dude, so we're good to go. Okay, cool. Back to what we were doing. Old home. We can go ahead and paste this now. Breaking this. Taking care of this mess. I got heads flying in the air after me. Okay. So what were we short? Ruined marble, apparently. Um, back to home. We need to make some ruined marble. Wrong place, old home. Ruined marble. And then we need to fill this in with uh, starlight. Okay, that's enough. You're making me mess up. I don't know where I was at. Uh, that looks to be correct. And then we get our collector crystal. I think we have to place this like so many blocks high. Astral sorcery. This doesn't tell me. Let's just go ahead and... All right. I need a mega torch out here or something. I need a lucerna ritual. That's what I need. Is it too high? Is that working? I need my book. We need to do a little bit of research. Collector crystals. We need enhanced celestial collectors. Okay. Um, so it is a one block gap. So then you... And you, there we go. And then we take that and we link it to here. Now it's linked. This is going to cause it to go even faster. This chest is probably full or getting full. Not yet. Oh, the end. Oh my gosh. Look at all the stuff on the ground. The ender hopper ain't picking all this up. Oh my God. What is all of this? Look at all this. This is insanity. There is so much stuff. And it's so, so much more. I need to... This actually needs to go in the middle, doesn't it? Let's get an ender chest. You get the gist, okay? It's going crazy with all of the stuff that we can get for it. Um, die. And this isn't even... This isn't even final form. We have more work to do to make this even crazier. So that is the ender chest and the ender hopper here. And we're gonna put this, uh, not down there. Too many sheep, too much going on. Get out of the way. Yes, that needs to go there. 
Oh my gosh, this is chaos. <laughs> this is absolute insanity. On top of that, the ritual is just going crazy. That'll work. That's fine. It's going to pump everything into there. That will work perfectly fine. Feral Flare. Get out of the way, sheep. And Mega Torch. Okay. That is crazy. If we look at beef, we have 30 raw beef, 31. Okay, so that is with this just running as is. Let me go ahead and grab all of this junk too and put it all away. Just everything can go away. Axe, you go here, go away. You go away. Okay, and yeah, like I said, this isn't even the uh, the uh, max for this. Let's go back home really quick and pop up top. I think we have our lenses up here, right? Correct? Yes, one, two, three, four. Oh, man, I need one more lens in order to max this thing out. And you are, like, not... Difficult to make, but at the same time, I don't have anyone lying around. No. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's go ahead and make another lens really quick. So we just need any crystal, some lenses, some of that engraved wood, which is you, some lenses, any crystal. Um, we can just use like shape. size I honestly don't think I mean it does actually matter but it doesn't matter for what we're doing right now um, aquamarine gold and then some ruined marble so aquamarine gold and then ruined marble make that do I have enough starlight for this I think I do Look, this does make more than one. It makes three. I knew earlier when I said it made more than one. I wasn't crazy. So now we have three regular crystal lenses. We could make this whole thing like ridiculously powerful if we got more like, you know, purity and all of that on our lenses. But I don't think we need to go that far. Um, Where are we going here? Old home. And then we have to, if we see there's these beams that are shooting off from this, there are a total of five beams. So what we can do is set the lenses to be pointing, reflecting these beams back to the altar, right? So that's one, you'll see there's a lightning effect when that is correct. You look like you are here. Link you to there. This one is up pretty high. Two, three. Yep, okay. That's you. To there. And then... This one is here. Also at three blocks high. You to there. And then lastly, is there only four? One, two, three, four. I thought there were five, but maybe there's only four. So I didn't need to make lenses. Yeah, look, it's like glowing like crazy now. If I break this, does it stop that crazy glow? No, not particularly. One, two, three, four. This is the main beam, so it's not there. Though it does have the possibility to create a beam going there, but I think that's everything. 
And then I just, this ender hopper is like not keeping up. Oops. No, you get linked there. You get linked there. Okay. What I don't want is all of this stuff like dumped into the world because that's what's happening to it right now. And none of these sheep are being sheared either, which they... Oh, well, maybe they don't get sheared. Yeah, anyway, if you look at beef now, we have 157 beef. So we went from 30 to 157 in the span of like three minutes, and it's just going to continue going. If you look at mutton, we have a ton of mutton now. If we look at... Um, do we have more feathers? It does not give me feathers, it doesn't seem... The one thing that I... Well, I only have one chicken in here. So that's probably why there's not a lot of feathers. Eggs. Let's go ahead and try and get more chickens. Out of six, we got none. Maybe yeeting them from on high is not a good idea. Um, you think the ender hopper isn't picking things up because it's on the side? Is that, is that a thing? Is, I don't know how that works. Let's check out this guy here. No, it's picking it up. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that is a ritual from Astral Sorcery with crystal lenses linked to it. The only other thing we could do is set up a ritual anchor, which is these guys here. If we look in the quest, the ritual anchor, it allows you to move your ritual effects. So right now, everything is centered on our pedestal. What we could do is set up an anchor, which I think you have to put it up like three high or whatever. And then you put the other anchor where you want it to be, bind them together, and shablamo, it is now going to be centered on that area instead of your pedestal, which is pretty cool. But, uh, oh look, we got bees in our area over here. Hopefully that doesn't mess this guy up. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that is Astral Sorcery Rituals, and with this, we don't have to worry about the starlight going away, like we're not going to run out of starlight or anything, so I think we're good to go. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and it does help out the channel, and we will see you in the next one. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.